So the first number that everyone's tracking, of course, the number of confirmed cases. And while technical issues have made it tricky to keep real-time accurate data, Dr. Kathy Lofi says longer-term data is more useful anyway. One figure from that data that initially seems alarming, the daily number of new cases. Early last week, the high-end estimate was 250 new cases per day. By last weekend, that had shot up to as many as 600. But Dr. Lofi says this is actually a good thing. Most of this jump in case counts um, was due to a doubling in the number of people who were tested. And that's actually good news because testing capacity has been limited and to see an almost doubling in the number of people who are being tested is great. So how do we know how fast the virus is really spreading? Lofi says look to a different figure, the percentage of daily tests that come back positive. In mid-March, that number was 6 or 7%. In the past few days, it's become more like 8 or 9 percent. And this suggests an increase in COVID-19 activity in the state. And the number of daily deaths is going up as well. So what does that mean? Is social distancing not working? Well, that's not quite it. Because even though the virus is still spreading, it's spreading gradually. Whereas in places like New York, COVID-19 cases are skyrocketing. The data really suggests currently that COVID-19 um, is still increasing in our state, but it does not appear to be increasing at an exponential pace. We do believe that our social distancing measures are having some impact in slowing down the spread um, of the virus. So if we're flattening the curve, what does that curve look like now? Lofi pointed to modeling done by UW. Right now, they predict Washington will hit its peak on April 19th, and for things to be quieted down by the end of June. Casey Decker, Creme 2 News.